progress. Hello, beautiful ones. I'm so excited to help you amplify your abundance by raising your vibrational frequency to the field of abundance where all possibilities lie. It's where we're divinely connected, right? So I want to give you the most underlooked and I think like overlooked under and overlooked. People aren't looking at it. People are going around it. It is the one that's not going to cost you any money. It doesn't take much time. It's something that you can rewire your brain to do automatically and subconsciously. And it is actually not just thinking, but feeling gratitude. And I know what you're thinking. Ugh, gratitude. Maybe not. Maybe not. I might be wrong, but I have thought this in the past. In fact, when I was a kid, my eyes would roll up in my head when someone would say uh, grace before dinner or when it was Thanksgiving. I was like, ugh, we're thankful. I get it. I, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. And I thought that gratitude and Thanksgiving and all of these things, like, yeah, I felt them. I was grateful. I was a, I was a grateful person, but it just seemed over the top kind of, you know, like it wasn't cool enough to be super grateful. I would get excited about things, but the whole idea of having, you know, a Thanksgiving dinner, I was like, gosh, do we have to do this? Let's, let's also not think about the entire implications of Thanksgiving and the colonial stuff and how bad it was because that's a whole nother can of worms. And yet gratitude has been the single biggest shift for me to exist in a frequency of abundance and prosperity as opposed to one in scarcity. So we're going to be doing a gratitude activation, a rampage, a meditation. It's going to be all of those things to really just help you expand from your regular state of being into the field and frequency where there's only things to be grateful for. You become this energetic match for only things that you can be grateful for in your life. And I want to also tell you a story before we get into it so you understand why it's so potent, it's so powerful, and it's life-changing. So there was a time in my early 20s when I was seeing angel numbers and I am 40 while I'm filming this. So this was a long time ago and I didn't know what angel numbers were. I wasn't on, you know, spiritual internet stuff, but these repeating number patterns were really starting to come so frequently with such a jolt of energy that I was like, oh, these are important. I was seeing one, 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 a lot of one, two, three, fours, a lot of also for me, 1123 and 1023. Like it was those patterns. And of course, you know, your four, four, fours, your five, five, five. So I was seeing those two, but I didn't know what it meant. I could feel it was important. It was like a message because it's like not just looking at the regular time, but you would get a jolt of energy. And it wasn't just the time, though that happened frequently. It would seem every time I checked what time it was, something was was a repeating digit. Uh, but I was seeing it on license plates, on addresses, like phone numbers. It was It was getting to be a lot. So I decided since I didn't know what it meant, I would just decide to be grateful in that moment. I'd already done some gratitude practices, gratitude journaling, journaling, you know, it was it was something that I was aware of at that time in my early 20s, as I had already been studying spirituality as well as all major religions for for quite some time. So I would see one, 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 and I'd be like, oh, so grateful to be here now. Grateful for my heart. Grateful for the blue sky. I would see another number later and I would be like, oh, I'm so grateful for my 
my boyfriend, for my family, for living in Canada. I'm so grateful that I actually have invested in, uh, you know, my education. I would just find myself being grateful for all kinds of things. When I started to get really good at it and I would see it and I would actually start to go, and this is before I knew Abraham Hicks or any of the, the words gratitude rampage, I would go on a little gratitude rampage and I would be like, I'm so grateful for the sun and the moon and the stars and this and that and all of these things. And I'm grateful for all the crappy things that happened to me. And I was just getting onto a roll because I could feel it elevating something in me. And I started to change and my life started to change. And I started to feel this energy really radiating out of me, this openness. And I started to become more magnetic and everything just felt like it was, you know, going my way. And I realized now I was really just shifting my vibrational frequency to that place of infinite possibility where all is connected, where I was looking for the opportunities, where I was seeing the things to be grateful for. So even when something bad was happening, I was like seeing like, okay, no, 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 this is going to turn out well. And I'll be honest, I already had this as a superpower, the silver lining superpower. I started cultivating when I was in grade four, and I heard Homer Simpson once talk about the Chinese word for uh, opportunity and crisis being linked together, like the crisitunity. And I was like, oh, I love that. I'm always going to look for the opportunity in a crisis. And so I've been honing that skill for a while. This gratitude practice, when I saw repeating numbers, brought it up to the next level. And it was something that was happening for months. And this is where it gets weird. I lived alone. And I went to bed one night after brushing my teeth. And when I woke in, in the morning, my toothbrush was not where I had left it. It was the final thing I did that night. And I knew I had placed it on my counter. So I do the normal thing. I look and see if it's fallen down. I look down, you know, everywhere. I look in my drawers. I'm like, where is my toothbrush? This is getting really weird. I know where I left it. And I look up into my shower. And I see it on that little thing where you keep your soap and your razors. And instantly... I felt my guide's voice in my ears saying, that was us. We had to get your attention. I believed this voice because I always thought people who brushed their teeth in the shower were psycho. Like I was like, oh, that is unhinged. Like what a weird thing to do. I'm just going to do it at the counter. So I had this same kind of jolt of energy, electricity run through me. And they continued to speak and they were like, you know what? You have been grateful for everything under the sun. You're grateful for all of it, even the bad stuff. And you don't even mention us. We don't get one iota of thanks. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And that began an acceleration of my intuitive gifts my clairs, my communion with the divine, with my team, with source. And I had always been connected, been very clairsentient. My clairvoyance and my clairaudience started to really turn on. And what I understood is that the gratitude practice actually lifted me out of the frequency of density and separation enough and stabilized in that field because I wasn't just doing it sometimes, I was doing it all of the time. I was now existing in this frequency bandwidth where I could hear those higher frequencies, the ones that we are not easily tapped and tuned into. So it has been the simplest practice that has changed the trajectory of my life so much because now I work with my intuitive gifts all of the time. They are like, like breathing to me. I couldn't imagine living without them. Being able to talk to all kinds of inter and extra dimensional beings and just having this company and always being connected to all of it, the rocks and the trees and Gaia and source. And this is work that I do with my clients. I'm able to be a guide for them to the multidimensional realms. And gratitude was what really brought it all together for me, as well as it being the thing that can change your perspective on everything. Right? It changes the lens through which you see the world. It changes your internal vibrational frequency. 
It changes the way that you interact with the world and experience the world. Your reticular activator, which is the part of your brain that is helping you filter information. The, there's so much information that's constantly coming in. Your brain is filtering it to what's applicable to you. And it's the same part of your brain where if you buy a yellow car, you're going to see yellow cars everywhere. The number hasn't increased, but it's no longer data that your brain is like, oh, this isn't important. This isn't important. Uh, it will focus on what you have focused on. So if you have been focusing on gratitude, you are going to be able to pull out the gratitude, pull out the wisdom of anything by seeing what there is to be grateful about the situation. Even if it's just for the lesson, even if it's for showing you how strong you are, you'll be able to find gratitude in it. So we're going to go into this activation where I'm going to get you to play with me. And this is a play your microphone is off, so you'll be able to perhaps even speak out loud and join me in certain places. And I'm going to invite you to use your voice out loud if you can at times. But if you are unable to speak out loud, you can do it in your head. That's almost as good. Out loud just adds the sound vibrations and the waves that really can be a little bit more powerful than just thinking our thoughts. So something written down or spoken is just slightly more powerful than something that is thought out loud. That's why speaking <laughs> casts spells and spelling also like literally is writing things down. So let's dive in. I'm going to invite in the Luminous team and call in sacred space so we are energetically supported by the beings that are here to help us out. So calling in all of your guides, your angels, your beautiful brothers and sisters of light, the Luminous ancestors, and just take a breath in to your heart space. And you may feel like closing your eyes to feel the energy really shift around you, taking that deep breath into your heart. And sighing it out. And we want you to slow everything down and tune into your heartbeat. We want you to thank it for beating. And as you do, just take a quick body scan. Notice how you're feeling without judgment. Notice what your energy is like. Notice if there's any sensations in your body. Just be aware of how it is right now. And then I really want you to go deeper with this gratitude to your heart. I don't want you to just think the word. I want you to start to feel it. I want you to drop a energetic elevator from your mind all the way down into your heart. And feel that this heartbeat has sustained your life from your first weeks in the womb until now, until the end of your life. This heartbeat allows you to have all of the experiences that you've ever had. Thank your heart for pumping blood through your body, all the way through the veins, the capillaries, through your core, arms and legs, your fingers and toes, your head and neck, every piece of you. Your heart also emits an electromagnetic field, field that is felt not just by you, but those that encounter you. Your heart has so much wisdom. Your heart knows what is for you and has guided you. Your heart is a lighthouse for you and others. And I want you to not just think the words, but feel them as you speak out loud three times. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tuning in now to your breath. And 
Thanking your lungs. Thanking them for oxygenating your body, your blood, for taking in the prana and life force energy and allowing you to exist in this world and exhaling what you no longer serve. Thank each of the lungs for doing their work to allow you to be here now. And I want you to tune into the hands that are on your chest, over your heart, over your lungs, and gently caress them. I want you to feel them as though for the first time, feel the softness of the skin. Think about how your hands allow you to experience the world. If you are lucky enough to have hands, if you are watching this and you do not have hands, offer another part of your body the same energy while giving yourself so much gratitude for the lessons you've learned without them. But feeling these hands and knowing that they have allowed you to touch the softness of puppy or kitten. They've allowed you to experience playing with Legos, touching grass or sand. They've allowed you to draw or paint or write, carve, ride a bike, make beautiful food. I want you to thank your hands and all your heart. We want you to think of a pair of hands that have touched you with love. To be a child, a lover, a friend, a mother, a grandparent. Think of those hands that have caressed you tenderly, that have brushed hair away from you, eyes. They've put a hand on your shoulder when you need it at the most. And give them gratitude and thanks. And now, gratitude. Expanding your awareness down to the earth herself. Dropping a beautiful set of roots or an anchor down into the heart of Gaia, the center of the planet. Feel the support and the nourishment from her. Invite your heart to sync up with hers. I want you for a moment to feel her love for you and your heart reciprocating to her. Pure adoration. Your relationship is so special and she loves you so much. I want you to say thank you with all your heart to her for providing this experience of this planet. Every bit of water we drink, food we eat, every person that we encounter, every plant, every animal. I want you to think of your favorite forest, whether you've been there in real life or just seen it in your dreams. And feel the energy of that forest and thank her for the trees. I want you to breathe in deeply, imagining you're at this forest and smell the air. Be so grateful to the air, that breath of life that carries with it the energy of creation. Thinking now of the oceans, you imagine yourself 
at the ocean shore. Perhaps you've only been there in your dreams or imagination. Or perhaps you know exactly what it feels like to stand with your toes right at the waterline and waves lap over you, over your toes. And you are gently caressed by the waters of the sacred world. And I want you to thank the waters. Without them, our planet would be a lifeless husk. And sending this gratitude now out across the entire globe, thanking the animals, the mountains, the deserts, every blade of grass, and the flowers. I was feeling the beauty. I'm so grateful now. And I'm opening this space up now for you to be speaking out loud or in your head, your own gratitude. Whatever comes to mind, I want you to say, I am so grateful for, and then just list them off as we hold space. And I want you just to, to go and to go without thought. What is it that you are grateful for? I am so grateful for. Keep going. You can go to people in your past, friends, family, teachers, actors, authors. Who are you grateful for? What about your lineage? What about the lessons that were hard won and hard learned? The stuff that was so hard at the time, but you know now gave you the information, the strength, the wisdom to be who you are. Deeply breathing in. I want you now to be grateful to you, to all of you. Thank you for showing up, for living this life, for surviving and thriving and investing in yourself. I want you to be grateful to your team, the whole team that's here. Thanks to the guides, the angelic ones, the luminous ancestors, the beings of light, and source itself. And I want you to invite that beautiful divine love and source light down through your crown to fill your body and move through you into the earth. And I see now 
our entire group and collective being lit up with golden light, this golden light of divine love that is so much easier to feel when we have opened through a state of gratitude. So allowing this golden light to move through you, purifying out pockets of density, moving through all of the old that is ready to be released and into a beautiful activation of deeper levels of gratitude, abundance, connection, joy, peace, even bliss. And I ask that your cells be calibrated to these beautiful frequencies. May your heart be an emanation of all of this divine love. And may you walk in gratitude for all that is for the rest of your days. Deeply breathing in here. You may pause to experience this for as long as you desire, relishing it, letting it move through you, dancing with you. Mm. Stay here and linger if you would like. By just simply pausing. But when you're ready to return, I want you to take your arms out wide and imagine all of this gratitude, these beautiful frequencies all around you. And I want you to notice what the air feels around you, what your body feels like. Do a body scan with your arms stretched wide open and feel that openness, this openness to possibility, this openness to magic, this connection to all that is. And on your next inhale, you're going to move your arms in and sweep all of this energy into your heart so it can stay with you. And maybe you'll have to stretch and, and wiggle and move and continue to breathe to make space for all of these beautiful frequencies of abundance and connection and possibility. Mm. And when you're feeling ready, you're going to gently blink your eyes open and laugh at me for not having waterproof mascara. This was from tears of joy, of like pure like the gratitude that I felt and the, the joy, and it was over overwhelmingly beautiful. Sometimes my eyes leak when I really feel spirit. Mm. I'm so grateful for you. Really, I am. I love you so much. Thank you for being here, doing this work, and tapping in with me to the abundance frequency the joy frequency, the connected frequency, and most importantly, the frequency of divine love. Mm. So, return to this anytime you need to be reminded of what there is to be grateful for. You can always fast forward through the story and go right to the activation and I encourage you to do this on your own as a daily practice, and it doesn't have to take so long. Even maybe every time you see an angel number, a repeating number, what are you grateful for? Train your brain to be grateful for all that is, and watch as your world opens up, and there are only things to be grateful for, even when it's tough, as so you see the lesson and the possibility. So... Be in joy. 
Be in love. Mm. 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 Enjoy the rest of your day with this beautiful frequency play.